is Francesco Abrazzino with the Uncensored Report, and I want to talk to you a little bit about this story that I'm going to go to now, which is right here. And basically, what is this? It's a casing, right? If you know anything about bullets, this is what we call a casing, a show casing. And basically, the school system. Now, what happened is we got a school system out there, and essentially, they've become... They're all, it's almost like an institution uh, where you got wardens that monitor everything. They want to indoctrinate you. Um, there's no more teaching of the young except trying to teach them to conform to your ideas and um, the norms of society. They're, and that's how they're a little bit more than these indoctrination centers out there. Um, you know, a lot of people say, oh, they're preparing the kids for the real world. But are they really? Are they preparing them for the real world? You can't chew gum, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't wear this, you can't do that in their authoritarian ways. I don't know if they're preparing them for a world that I live in or that I want to live in. Um, so I don't know if they really are preparing our kids for the real world. You know, they teach them how to be scared of their administrators, of their leaders, of their superiors. They teach them how to be dependent upon the schools dependent upon a system, dependent upon the government. Traditional values, they're gone out the window. We don't see them as much anymore. And God forbid, if a boy does something like this guy did, or what if he does something masculine? Anymore, you can't do anything masculine outside physical education, outside of football. And if a boy gets in trouble, woo, they're harsh on them. You have to be, right? <laughs> I mean, come on. So here you go. This this story is just nuts. I, I'm still amazed. You get this four-year-old. Just got the four-year-old. His name out here. This is over in Illinois. He's attending preschool. You know, doing the thing kids do. The preschool thing. Let me reset there. And uh, during he was out with his grandpa, I guess. And they were out walking. And they came across, you know, like most little kids do. He picked up this little thing, a shiny thing he saw on the ground. And in the picture, the little shell casing of a 22 um took it home thought it was cool the next day he brought it to school like most kids did and that's when all hell broke loose and that's when this mother was uh basically approached by the administrators and you know those stone-faced administrators that want to just rip your head off because your son dared bring a shell casing into school they said your said your cut your son brought in a shotgun bullet and she was She's saying, thinking, what? A shotgun bullet? That's impossible. And I guess he just went through uh, some training on gun safety and all that stuff for the weekend. So they handed her the piece of paper. She looked at it and then discussed. She found out it was just a shell casing. She said, you know, does this really deserve a seven-day suspension for my kid to be treated like he's some um, hardcore criminal? And that's when she went to Facebook. And that's when it started bringing a lot of attention about how the absurdity behind it all. It's a shell casing, folks. It's kind of like when a kid comes to school and does this with his finger and gets suspended for uh, playing, playing, pretending he's got a gun. And, the, you know, if you think about it, the punishment. This is the type of punishment you'll give out to kids that are a little bit older. They have the mental capacity to know what they're doing. They're not four years old. A four-year-old, I don't know if they're out there plotting, if they're out there thinking about being malicious. But it, I could see an older kid, maybe. And even then, I have a hard time believing it with the shell casing. You know, this four-year-old out there, he understands that he's done something wrong. But he's not sure what. He understands that everybody's freaking out. But he didn't hurt anybody. He didn't threaten anybody. He didn't put anybody in danger. It's basically an innocent situation where a four-year-old kid was out walking, saw something shiny, picked it up and said, hey, look what I got, and showed it to his buddies. Yet they're going to give him a punishment, a punishment that is normally handed out to people that should do something more harsher. Is it going to teach him? What's it going to teach him? To be afraid of the school administrators, to walk in fear. To, to tap, to walk slowly, tap, what is it? Taps lightly. And it's pretty obvious what's going on here. This teacher, she didn't execute a policy. These teachers are out there pushing their narrative, their objective of these schools. 
the ignorance about firearms. A shell casing is not the same as bringing in a full lo loaded bullet here. Was there some bias against um, firearm ownership? Was there some bias that a kid would, an impressionable kid would bring in this bullet or shell casing? I don't know. I mean, some people may not even know it's a shell casing. Bottom line here is schools are no longer educational arenas. They're, unless you think they're educational arenas to um, follow the narrative that the government is overseeing you, that there's an authoritarian, that you got to follow the authorities and do what they say, you can't think on your own. They indoctrinate you to get ready to be uh, for your role in society as being a sheep. A sheep to the in the herd, where you got to follow what the government says. If you don't be scared, if you make the slightest mistake, the punishment will be harsh. What say you? I just I get tired of this uh, this uh, uh, no what is it called no uh, oh gosh I'm having a brain fart right now. Zero tolerance that's what it is zero tolerance. It's gotten out of control, and my kids have been uh, um, subjected to it, and I've gone crazy because it's over the most ridiculous things. And I think I told everybody about it. When my my daughter was watching T fight, the boyfriend wanted to break it up. He said, can you break it up? She went in to break it up. Next thing you know, she's being suspended because they said she was in a fight. Everyone there knew she was just breaking it up. Everyone knew that she didn't throw a punch, but they didn't ask anyone. They just said zero tolerance. Ridiculous. Okay, that's enough for this rant. This has been Francesco Abrazino with the Uncensored Report.